Elizabeth Warren versus Ronald McDonald. Yeah, um, is it coincidence? I don't think so. No. All of a sudden, just a dated October 21st, Elizabeth Warren writes a, um, a strongly worded letter to the president and CEO of McDonald's, Chris Kapzinski. And he writes, she writes, excuse me, we write with concern regarding increases in fast food prices over the last several years and seeking information regarding McDonald's pricing decisions. While McDonald's is not the only fast food restaurant that has increased prices significantly in recent years, its dominant market position as the largest fast food chain in the United States has an outsized impact on American consumers. While working families are trying to make ends meet, McDonald's and its corporate counterparts have continued to grow their profits. Oh, no, heavens to Betsy, growing profits? That's what businesses are supposed to do. Anyway, she goes on. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, fast food prices have consistently outpaced inflation, squeezing consumers who for decades were able to rely on restaurants like McDonald's for a meal at a fair price. Fair price. However, Americans are now leaving fast food establishments and are increasingly choosing to spend their food dollars at home consumption. Since 2020, the consumer price index has increased by 20%, but McDonald's may have increased its menu prices for certain items by substantially more. And then she talks about Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, In-N-Out Burger, Burger King. 27 out of 30 menu items experienced price increases that outpaced inflation. Um, again, who the hell do you think you are? Pocahontas. Who do you think you are? It's none of your damn business what McDonald's charges. And again, this just shows you just how stupid Elizabeth Warren is. Or better yet, the people who vote for her. Who be like, yeah, 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 you're right. Um, she writes in this thing um, at how Americans are leaving fast food establishments that are going to spend their money at home. Do, do you? Do you think McDonald's wants that? Do you, do you think they want people not to come in their stores? Do you not think that they have to calculate what they have to charge for a product based upon their food costs, based upon their food costs and based upon their labor costs and their energy costs and all of those things so they can make a profit and then put out a product that people can afford? Outpaced inflation? What about food inflation there, Lizzie? Huh? There, have, you, have you calculated that? No, you, you can't use all of inflation because, again, restaurants are obviously gotten hit a lot more because the price of food has gone up considerably more. But, but again, I, you know, the, the gall of these people in Washington, D.C., who the hell? You're a senator from Massachusetts. Okay, and again, this just goes up some of the dumb things we do with amending the United States Constitution. Senators used to be chosen by the state legislatures, and that's the way it should be. We should go back to that, quite frankly. Um, it's none of your damn business what companies charge. If they charge too much and people don't go to their store anymore, they're going to go out of business. And guess what? Somebody will replace them. There'll be another burger joint. And if you know how to run a business so well and you're so upset about this, well, I, one, one could sense an opportunity there, Liz. Didn't you write some sort of Pocahontas cookbook? Why don't you open your own damn restaurant? McWarren's, right? You can open up your own burger joint and run it and you could charge whatever the hell you want for the food that you're selling at your restaurant. Uh, again, the, 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 the overreach. By these, these, you know, if I was the, again, I was the CEO of McDonald's, I would tell her to take a long walk off a short pier. It's none of your damn business. Why don't, why don't you people in Washington worry about, I don't know, I don't know, balancing the budget, doing your job. I'll, I'll, I'll worry about running my company. You go worry about doing your job. Watchdog on Wall Street.com.